Hey, well, this seems to be a pretty uh, busy day in Hershey. Uh, can you tell me generally what your thoughts are with uh, the articles of impeachment being introduced today and uh, the president um, arriving in Hershey? Well, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I think the, the question is on the impeachment, will it harden Trump support? Well, the Trump voters who voted for him four years, four, almost four years ago, who said, I've had it with this guy who too, too, does too much things for himself. Will they drop off, maybe not vote for the Democrats, but just not come out and vote this time? Or will the Trump base be even more enthusiastic about the president thinking that he's been unfairly targeted and come out in even greater numbers? That'll be the That'll be the answer to the question is who's going to carry Pennsylvania. Right. And uh, seeing all the people who are lining up right now. Well, you, can't uh, get, you can't get totally influenced by crowds, even enthusiastic crowds. I remember when in the 2016 primaries, Bernie Sanders was getting these huge crowds. And yet Hillary got 58% of the national vote against Sanders. It's not the crowds that come, but it's those are the people who are convinced. You can do no wrong. You walk on water them. The people who voted for you the last time, but don't think you're so hot anymore. Are they going to vote for you or are they going to vote for your opponent? In Pennsylvania, it'll matter who the Democratic candidate is. If we can nominate someone too far to the left, I think we stand in danger of losing central Pennsylvania by even worse than we did the last time. And uh, one more quick question then. Uh, I with uh, looking around the state, what are your impressions so far? Is there anything different between uh, 2016 and... Uh, well, sure. Trump has a record now. Uh, Hillary didn't have the advantage of running against Trump's record. She ran against the idealized Trump, the guy who was going to come in and drain the swamp. Drain the swamp, he said, more people in his administration arrested, sent to jail, resigning in disgrace. Uh, so he's got a record now, and that'll be a little easier for the Democratic candidate it was in 2016 when Hillary was running against this ideal of this outsider who's going to come in and clean all of Washington up. Anything like that? No, that's it. All right, thank you, Governor.